Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today, we're continuing our series building decks from the new Warhammer 40k pre-constructed Commander decks. Again, I'm not planning on doing any upgrade videos for the existing decks. Instead, I'm looking at commanders that interest me, and then building a deck using some of the cards from that specific precon. In fact, my son's birthday is Friday, and he and I both fell in love with one of the decks. So the challenge was to take this one commander deck and then split it in two. The commander I was interested in was Magnus the Red. If you want to see what I was able to throw together with the leftover cards, you'll have to tune in on Friday. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. I've been very happy with the growth this channel has had so far, and I'm excited to see where we're going. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Magnus the Red is a 5-mana 4-5 Demon Primarch with flying. He has a static and a triggered ability. The static ability says that instant and sorcery spells we cast cost one generic mana less to cast for each creature token we control. Additionally, whenever Magnus the Red deals combat damage to a player, we create a 3-3 red spawn creature token. I gotta be honest, I was very excited to build this commander. The reason? I've been debating what to do with sorcerer class for over a year now. And when this guy was spoiled a couple of weeks ago, it hit me. We can build a deck with a bunch of token creators and cast really big spells. That being said, we're not running any turn spells, because that would be mean. Think of this more like old school Battlecruiser Commander. Additionally, the deck list comes in at a reasonable $200. You could make this cheaper by trimming some of the lands, but where's the fun in that? Before we get to the deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. 1 sudden I win card. To start, let's take a look at our lands. We're running Command Tower. Exotic Orchard. Steam Vents. Training Center. Sulphur Falls. Storm Carved Coast, Volatile Fjord, Temple of Epiphany, Silver Bluff Bridge, Is It Guildgate, Prismari Campus, Swiftwater Cliffs, Molten Tributary, Myriad Landscape, Scavenger Grounds, Evolving Wilds, Terramorphic Expanse, Twelve Islands, and Seven Mountains. Our mana rocks consist of Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Creativity, Is It Signet, Sky Diamond, Fire Diamond, Felwar Stone, Mind Stone, Worn Power Stone, and Chromatic Lantern. Stormkiln Artist and Brass's Bounty for Treasure Generation, Rowan Scholar of Sparks for Cost Reduction, and a Wayfarer's Bauble to fetch lands. Now we get to card advantage, and you'll start to see the theme of this deck. To start, we have Firemind's Foresight as a tutor, Teferi's Ageless Insight to double our card draw, Brainstorm, Frantic Search, Big Score, and Seagate Restoration. But the cards central to our plan are Occult Epiphany, Culmination of Studies, Finale of Revelation, Mind Spring, Pull from Tomorrow, Even the Score, and Stroke of Genius. Because Magnus lowers the mana cost of our spells, we're running some of the higher mana cost counter spells, such as Mindswipe, Mystic Confluence, and Sublime Epiphany. We also have some cheaper counter spells in An Offer You Can't Refuse and Negate, and some counter spells that can actually gain us mana in Unwind and Rewind. For Spot Removal, we're running a Braid, Reality Shift, Chaos Warp, and Commit Memory. For Board Wipes, I wanted to try Let the Galaxy Burn, but we've also got the old reliable Blasphemous Act. 
we have a small Spellslinger package. To cast spells from the graveyard, we're running Past in Flames and Exalted Flamer of Zinch. We've also got a couple of copy spells in Reverberate, Expansion Explosion, and Storm King's Thunder. Obviously, we want a lot of token generators, and since we're in Izzet, most of them will generate tokens off of casting instants and sorceries. To start, we've got Young Pyromancer, Talran Sky Summoner, Zafai Thunder Conductor, Dika Fractal Theorist, Docent of Perfection, and Metallurgic Summonings. Jaya Fiery Negotiator creates tokens for us every turn, and with all of our card advantage, how could we forget the Locust God? Now for the core of our deck, as well as our win cons. Sorcerer class is why we built this deck in the first place. We don't need to level it all the way up to level 3, but we can if we want to. For additional damage, we've got Pink Horror. To help us win via all of our card draw spells, we've also got Laboratory Maniac and Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Veyron, Voice of Duality, doubles most of our token generation. We've also got some big damage dealers that can win us the game out of nowhere in Crackle with Power, Jaya's Emulating Inferno, and Comet Storm. Finally, a mass manipulation for fun. So let's take a look at our deck and compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 36 lands and 14 pieces of ramp, right on target. 14 pieces of card advantage, plus two cards that let us recast spells from the graveyard. 11 pieces of interaction, two board wipes, two pieces of graveyard hate, several sudden I win cards with lots of ways to combo off and win the game. Allow me to explain. Magnus the Red makes it so that each of our spells cost one less to cast for each token creature we have. If we have two token generators on board, say Young Pyromancer and Talran Sky Summoner, we can cast Brainstorm and make two tokens. That means Big Score only costs two mana to cast, and it also generates us two tokens, as well as some treasure. We then cast Seagate Restoration for 3 mana, drawing us a ton more cards and creating 2 more creature tokens, bringing the total up to 6. Which means we could cast Stroke of Genius for a single blue and draw 4 cards. You see how this deck quickly spirals out of control. The counter spells are mostly in the deck to stop board wipes. The more creatures we have, the bigger our spells will get, but we rarely need to cast multiple spells per turn. So cards that are normally very detrimental to a Spellslinger deck, like Rule of Law or God Pharaoh Statue, don't affect us. That being said, we're not as fast as other Spellslinger decks. This is a fun, casual deck that lets you cast big spells for cheap. You could build this deck as a turns commander, and I think that's the most powerful way to do so. But if you build the deck that I presented in this video, let your playgroup know that there aren't any turn spells. That way you won't get hated out of the game right off the bat. Now. Obviously, a lot of the cards that I grabbed from the Ruinous Powers to build this deck are staples. Soul Ring, Talisman, Blasphemous Act, Chaos Warp. These are cards that have been reprinted over and over again. So when splitting the deck between me and my son, my concern was primarily to ensure that I took as few as possible of the new cards unique to Ruinous Powers. I wound up taking a total of four. This left plenty to build his deck. If you're wanting to pick up the Precon, I highly recommend doing so at your local game store. If you're unable to do so, for whatever reason, I posted a link to buy the deck via Amazon below. How are you building Magnus the Red? Are you buying the Ruinous Powers deck? What about any of the other Warhammer 40k decks? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Jariah, Waffles, Muffins, Casey, Danny, Nick, Marcus, Black Dragon, Phoenix of Ice, and Daniel. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.